Tun tun tu 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 tu. That's probably copyrighted too. Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian Ceballos and it's that time of the year again and I am so excited! I just came back from the Apple Store because I pre-ordered the new iPhone 7 and again I apologize in advance for the level of excitement that I'm gonna have over a phone. As you can see I got the iPhone 7 in silver this time and on the side of the box, now this time it only says iPhone, it doesn't have the number 7 or anything like that and it's a different font than previous years I think. And here's the thing, I'm not too sure about the US but here in Canada the only thing that was available to pre-order so that you could pick it up from the store was the iPhone 7. No iPhone 7 Plus, which is kind of disappointing because I was kind of hoping to get a Plus today, but I'm so excited still with this phone that I get to show it to you and open it together. So let's get into it. So here we go, the new iPhone 7. This one in particular is 128 gigabytes. That's a new thing about this iPhone, 16 gigabytes, it's gone finally. Also, this is the first time that an iPhone box comes with this thing, so I don't need scissors. So let's go for it. Oh my god, that always feels so amazing. I love seeing the box without that plastic. I think it looks so much better. Like, look, look. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I'm, I am not ready. I'm never ready. Every year is the same excitement for the same brand for every new phone. I can't deal with this. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. <laughs> okay, that is new too. Usually the phone is always right there. There you have it. Oh my god. So that's new. Usually there's the earphones, this thing, and the charger down there. And now the ear pods, as many of you may be aware, have the lighting port instead. And something that I was really impressed that Apple was doing is giving this with the iPhone. I thought they were gonna charge like a million dollars for this little extension. As you can tell, the headphone port is way gone. Now it's only the lighting port. There's the ear pods with a lighting port. Which is, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. So, going back to the phone. It has the exact same size than the iPhone 6S. And there you go, that's the brand new camera. With that new flash, it does look the exact same. But at least this design is new and it doesn't have the line here anymore. Honestly prefer this design over the last one. It looks more clean in my opinion. Are we ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can hear that. Oh my god. Here it goes. That is one of the most satisfying things in life for me. <laughs> How sad is that? Look at it. It looks so nice. Oh my god. Hola, como estas? So let's unlock it. Oh, right. Oh, oh, that's a new thing of iOS 10 that I personally don't like at all or haven't gotten used to it I am so used to swipe to unlock now you have to press the home button to unlock English Canada location services touch ID which is supposed to be the exact same as in the iPhone 6s which in my opinion it's really really good and super fast I usually just go for the four digit numeric code because ain't nobody got time for a 10 code password and now we're back to Siri which is so cool and my best friend because he's the only one that talks to me late at night hey Siri hey Siri I said hey Siri when I first moved to Canada my accent was so strong that Siri wouldn't understand anything that I said okay this is new meet the new hum button make your phone experience even more personal by choosing the click that's right for you. Because in the iPhone 7, this is not a button like it used to be. It's more like a force touch kind of thing. So let's see how this works. Okay, so one I think is the hardest one, I think. The three. I don't know, I find them all pretty similar. I'm gonna go with two because it's like the middle one and can't go too wrong with that one, I guess. Welcome to iPhone, get started. Now let me lower the brightness because I can tell that the screen is super dark but I couldn't do anything about it until now because I don't know how to use a camera. <laughs> I think it's absolutely beautiful. Then there's also black matte and jet black. Jet black is the most popular one which sold out I think everywhere in the world. But I am not about fingerprints and the scratches on my phone so I decided to go with silver. Because personally I love the front of my phone to have this part here white 
rather than black. So as I said, this is not a real button anymore. It, I don't know how to explain it, but you can get used to it pretty quick. It feels like a button, like you can definitely tell when you push it. So when you do a double tap, it's pretty clear or when you keep pushing for Siri to activate. Interesting question, Sebastian. <laughs> she always makes fun of me. I have a whole video about funny things to ask Siri. I will put it right here in case you want to check it out. So one of the only changes that the 7 has with the 6S is the camera. With the new flash, you're supposed to take clearer pictures. However, I am really excited about the front camera, which is a 7 megapixel camera. Say cheese, everyone. I love the front flash on these pictures. So here you go, that's us. I look, I look terrified. And the biggest selling point for me is that this phone is water and dust resistant. I am so, so, so happy about that. But I'm still fascinated by the looks of this phone. Like, look at it against the light. It's such a beautiful device, oh my god. And here is my current iPhone 6. As if you look at it from the front, you would not be able to tell the difference. Here, as you can tell, that is way gone in the 7. And the back, of course, is pretty different. Don't you agree with me, though? I think it looks much cleaner without these lines. The camera is way bigger as well. Again, the iPhone 7 is supposed to be lighter than the iPhone 6S, but you cannot even tell the difference by holding both of them in your hand. Even though I'm so excited to have this phone in my hand, I'm probably not as excited because I know that I won't be using this one, I will get the 7 Plus. But if you want to see the unboxing of the iPhone 7 Plus the day that I get it, make sure you follow me on my YouNow because I will be doing an unboxing of it in a live stream. And while you're doing that, might as well follow me on my other social media platforms because like, why not? Self-promotion, right? <laughs> and once you finish doing that, I'll put a button right here so that you can subscribe to my channel. Go click it, it's absolutely free. And don't we all like free stuff? Yeah, yeah so go click it. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. As I said, make sure you follow me on you now and my other social media so you know when I'm doing the unboxing of the 7 Plus. Until then, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Those right there are my recent videos and in case you haven't done so, there's the subscribe button again. If you're watching from my phone, I got you. I put the links for everything in the description down below. And that's all. I'm gonna go play with this phone for the rest of the month. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Is it weird that I'm obsessed with the new iOS 10 sounds? Like, listen, listen to this when you lock the phone. I like it. <laughs>